California is known as a clean energy leader. Uh, what's going, what are the priorities up in Sacramento in terms of pushing this forward? Well, la last year we had a banner year where we uh, really doubled down on our climate change legislation. We renewed AB 32 to really reduce uh, the, the increase the RPS standard from one third to 50 percent by 2030. And then on top of that, we also went and set a goal for the built environment to make sure that 50 percent of the buildings in the state are now energy efficient. The one piece of the uh, trifecta we weren't able to get done was how to figure out how to reduce our dependency on petroleum usage by 50 percent. I think uh, the governor is going to be really pursuing avenues administratively. We'll be looking at different avenues. One of those ways is to through our cap and trade funds. Cap and trade is a program where you're basically taxing pollution and using that money to incentivize uh, greenhouse gas reduction. So one of those things that we're going to be doing is really putting more money into clean vehicles, um, and that's consumer vehicles, but also uh, vehicles that deliver uh, materials in the ports and all that, all the uh, high commercial vehicles too. And the reason the governor didn't get that trifecta was moderate Democrats mm. in the Central Valley and pushback from the oil industry. So what's the oil industry is not going to sort of let that happen. Uh, how do you think the governor is going to be able to do that over the opposition of industry? Well, well one, I think he's going to do part of it administratively. And I think others is we're going to have to look at other strategies. I think uh, one thing people were opposed to was really taxing gas or actually uh, reducing gas usage. There was this sort of rumor going around that we were going to have to ration gas like the 1970s. And I think that was not, a, that was not true. But what we can do is really move people away from gasoline. Uh, I know Tesla just announced their car is going to be a major change where now consumers could actually access that technology with more and more people using that as well as natural gas vehicles or hydrogen fuel cells. We're, we're going to really try to challenge consumers to move away from petroleum and that will hopefully reduce our reliance on it. <music>